All right, so a while back, someone asked if I can make a video on any tips I had for performing anxieties. Uh, I didn't really make this video for, for a while because I had other things I, I need to, you know, plan out, schedule out. But my schedule is finally free, so here's the video. Also, if you have any tips that aren't listed in the video, feel free to list them in the comments down below. Actually, please list them down in the video uh, in the comments down below because if it helps anyone, then you know, why not do it, right? Just help them uh, more tips, more help for some people. So, uh, but before we get started, I do want to put a short little disclaimer and that is, well, I'm not the most consistent of performers. I do perform, but I only sort of perform when I want to. But you know, when I do perform, uh, I do I use these tips so you know feel free to uh, take that into consideration I I guess <laughs> so the first tip I have is well acceptance <laughs> accept that you are going to fail because a huge part of why I think makes me anxious and probably uh, other people anxious is well failure we're not perfect right so I think a huge part is well, what if I fail or what if I flash in front of this audience and I just reveal the secret to, to everyone, right? But the truth is, you're going to fail, right? No matter how experienced you are, no matter how many times you've performed, no matter how many people like you've performed for, you are going to fail. If not now, then eventually you will, right? But try, you know, that doesn't mean that you're just going to, oh yeah, I'm going to fail, <laughs> right? Don't Don't just do that take into consideration that nothing is going to be perfect but you can still work towards perfection so go into go into a performance uh knowing that you know you might fail you might not fail but at the very least you'll learn something new and at the next time that you perform it'll be better right so just go just accepting that you know nothing's gonna be perfect right you're you know that's that's obviously you're still gonna be stressed but just accepting that you know as long as i take everything that i've learned in this one performance and then take that into consideration for the next one i think that helps a lot so just accepting that you know you're going to eventually you're going to fail and that's fine and accepting that there's no such thing as perfection and then learn and then move on so i think that helps a, a whole bunch so another tip that I found pretty useful is just getting acquainted with the other person, right? So if you're performing for strangers, there's there's always this huge barrier. And this barrier is caused by, well, the unknown, right? Because you, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. So I think that by introducing yourself, by letting the other person introducing yourself, you don't even have to become friends with them. You just have to be like, ah, hey, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm a magician, blah, blah, blah. I'm testing out some stuff. Do you mind if I practice them on you? So you just interact with them. So how are you guys going? Like, oh yeah, how was your day, right? Just getting friendly with them. And I think that having just this brief introduction it sort of removes that unknown veil because this veil is like, ah, oh, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. But once that veil sort of clears, you're going to be like, okay, these people are nice, you know, they're, they're very nice. And then I can actually, you know, find the courage to actually perform for them. So, I mean, again, you're, you're still going to be stressed, but I think that this helps a whole bunch. This also serves as sort of like a vibe check. So depending on how the other person sort of interacts with you, you can sort of gauge how they'll um, how they'll be as a spectator, right? So depending on how they respond. So like, oh yeah, how's your day? Ugh, fine. <laughs> and if you hear that, you're like, yeah, never mind. I want to perform for these people. They're they're probably gonna like I don't know, beat me up or something. <laughs> I don't know. Don't don't. Uh, yeah. But so if you don't feel comfortable performing for the other person through like just like introducing yourself then don't do that right so it, this is just a simple vibe check but it also serves to remove the the unknown veil right so yeah being acquainted with the other party even if it's just pretty surface level stuff i think will help set the tension a bit lower even if it's just like a bit i think every bit of help helps so uh yeah, I think that that helps. Another tip that I have is, well, just starting off with an easy effect. So this is actually a tip that I got from Chris Mayhew. <laughs> so Chris Mayhew actually starts off with a pretty easy effect. And so you don't have to start off with like knuckle busting stuff like Race Rise or, you know, Larry Jennings, The Searchers, which 
uh, the searchers what was it the searchers right it was the searchers which has like three passes in it and like a reverse it was so weird but you don't have to do any knuckle busting stuff to start off you can do something simple like i don't know like the invisible deck with a good presentation or any self-working effect this is again this is sort of like a vibe check to see how the other person will react to magic and also it helps get the adrenaline going so once you perform one thing and you see the other party react you're going to okay that went well and then you can start going into harder stuff so just performing some easier stuff will help get the adrenaline going and then set the tension lower and then you could perform harder stuff as you progress so starting off with easier stuff is a pretty good tip i find for for performing in front of people and so this last tip is uh not very helpful <laughs> i would say it's not very helpful for first timers but it's you're gonna have to work through this one and that is well get experience talking in front of people it doesn't even have to be performing magic in front of people but just get used to talking in front of people so this can be different things like theater public speaking i don't know live streaming i guess uh if that's a thing i don't know dancing in front of, like a stage or something i don't know whatever gets you used to just having a spotlight on you i think that helps you tremendously because then you sort of get like used to it right you sort of get used to you know just having so many eyes on you that you sort of like just calm down because now it's no longer like this unknown factor now you know what you're doing you know what to say you know what to sort of how to handle everything right even though it's not perfect so i think just getting used to having the spotlight on you will help tremendously so again this this can be like public speaking this can be like and just anything that like gets people looking at you and gets you talking to this group of people so i think anything like that will help tremendously and those were my four tips on how to, you know, get get over the performance anxiety, right? Accepting that you are going to fail. So that's the first tip. Number two is getting acquainted with the other party. Three is start off with something simpler. And then four, practice with the spotlight on you, even if it's not just magic. So those are the four tips that helped me. And I mean, it, it's not something that you don't have to worry about it. Like the, these are things that, you know, take time. So don't worry about it, but just try and take the initiative to actually try and improve, right? But anyways, those are my tips. Again, if you have any more tips, feel free to comment down below. But I hope that this video does actually help you because I realized that when I was first starting off and even now, right? Sometimes when I perform for people, I just have like shaky, shaky hands. And I, I realize how, how hard it is for, for people to actually perform. And you know, that anxiety sort of never goes away. You'll always have it because you'll always be facing a unknown group of people. But I think that, you know, over time, you'll, you'll learn to sort of accept that and just take that in stride and just sort of, sort of work with it. So that's, uh, that's going to be it for, for today. Yeah. Uh, hope you, hope you enjoyed and hope these tips do help you sometime. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Stay healthy, stay safe and see you guys, uh, next time.